I'm going to show you how you can configure your Chameleon bootloader to display only your bootable drives. As you can see at this uh, screen, I've got all my drives showing, all my data drives. Also, the resolution isn't correct. It, it's not fitting in the screen properly. So I'm going to show you how you can change that as well. First thing you want to do before you carry on is click on here on your tab and either take a photo of that or write it down, old fashioned style. Um, that's important, you're gonna need that information when we boot in. So now I'm gonna boot into my Yosemite SSD. There we go. Okay. Right, here we are. Okay, go into your um, OS drive, find your extra folder, and this is the one we want to, we need to edit this boot list, the org chameleon boot list, list rather. Um, but in order to do that, we have to actually move this out of the folder, put it onto the desktop. Um, if we try and edit it while it's in there, it's not going to let us because of permissions and whatnot. Um, now what I've, I'll show you here, that's the boot list. Everything's working fine with this setup, um, except the resolution at the beginning. And like I said, all the disks, we want to hide them. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to open up here. This is the boot list that I actually normally have in my extras folder. And as you can see here, the, first of all, the graphics mode, you just have to do exactly as I've done here, graphics mode, but here, whatever the screen resolution or the resolution of the screen that will be displaying the uh, boot, if you've got two screens, then you have to remember that, yeah? So in my case, my other screen that you're watching now, um, is, yeah, 1680 by 1050, 32. So you, you just have to write that in key, graphics mode key, string, resolution string. Okay, simple. And now what was the other thing? The hide partition. Right, that's the next bit. So here you write in the key, hide partition key and the string. Now, I've seen tutorials t telling you to um, open up your terminal. I'll show you. This is one way. And if you write in the terminal, disk util, I think, list. See, yeah. Okay, now this gives you the list of um, disks with the disk number and the number of the partition. But for some reason, this doesn't really match um, what it really is. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> so of course I tried to use this, these, uh, this information here, and I put that in here to hide the disk, but it didn't work. It was hiding the wrong disks or showing the wrong disks. So what you should do is take, take that uh, picture or, or what you wrote down before we boot it up and there you'll have all the, the information you need for the, each drive that you want to hide. So hide partition and then in here you always write HD bracket the, the uh, number of the disk and then uh, the drive and the number of the partition okay and so on. As you can see all these drives are hidden. So just to show you rather than writing it in here I'm just going to copy paste this these two things I'll put them back in where they were just to show you copy paste uh, not quite right I like that that looks better and the hide partition okay copy paste 
Okay. So now that's the same. I'll, I'll close that one away. Okay, so the, I just altered the one that was already in there. And now what I have to do, this makes it easier, I'm going to actually open the extras folder. I'm going to throw that back in there. Ask me to authenticate. I have to put there. And then it says replace or keep both. Replace it. So you're getting rid of the other one. Now let's open it to check. There you see. All that information's in there now. Now the test. If I boot up now, you should have a, the correct resolution and there should be only... I think I, I show three drives. I've got two uh, Mac drives, one's a backup, and my Windows. So let's have a look. Restart. Fingers crossed. As you can see, it works. What can I say? Um, I hope it works for you.